Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have a general message for you guys. This is going to be a random collective message that somebody out there needs to hear. Whoever needs to hear this will come across this reading. Um, so please remember this may not resonate for everyone. And also this is not a twin flame reading unless that comes up in the reading, okay? So let's get straight into this and find out what Spirit wants you to know. I'm sorry about that banging noise. I don't know. I think it's my candle. Um, anyway. Okay. So I can see that you're trying to work on yourself here, but there's somebody here that is causing conflict for you, okay? You may not be recognizing that this person is trying to cause trouble in your life, um, but they're actively trying to cause fight, okay? They're very petty, okay? They're also very competitive, okay? So I'm getting that you're dealing with somebody that this could be a friend or a family member, somebody in your life, okay, that you're trusting and you're trying to work on yourself here, right? And they're literally coming in trying to cause fight, drama, some type of bullshit here. Um, I'm getting that this could be like, they're trying to do this in secret, right? They're trying to do this in secret, okay? Sorry, that is annoying me. Um, so they're trying to do this in secret. They're trying to cause this drama, this conflict in your life in secret. It's like this person cannot stand to see you. Um, they they can't stand to see you move forward in life, okay? They feel like that you, whoever this is, they feel like that you're working on yourself and for some reason that really disrupts them. Like they do not want to see you do well. There's this sense where this person feels like the world revolves around you. Like, that's how they feel. They feel like that... So this could be a sibling I'm getting, or this could be some, maybe a best friend. Somebody that feels like people always pay you more attention than them, if that makes sense. I'm definitely getting um, that this could be a sibling, okay? Because I'm getting something about parents. This person may, like, feel like your parents, if this is a sibling... Um, favor, right, you over this person, or they're always trying to make you happy, um, and not really paying attention, that's just how this person feels, um, if this is a friend, they feel like when, whenever they're around, like, you in public, it's like people pay you more attention, okay, it's like they go unnoticed, that's how they feel, okay, um, and they can't stand this. Something about this um, really disturbs them. It's like they want to be the center of attention, especially if you're dealing with a Taurus or a Leo here. Or a Pisces. This person feels like whatever you do, it's like you master it, okay? You're really good at what you do. Um, and this person, right... They don't feel like, they don't feel talented or something. They don't feel like that they have the talent that you have. They don't feel like they get the attention that you do. This person wants to see you fail, okay? They could be caught in conflict in your life, but it's like a secretive thing. It's like they're doing this in secret, right? Um, so they may be going behind your back trying to cause drama in your life, I'm hearing, but it definitely is involving other people as well. Okay, they definitely could be telling your secrets as well. There's something about a secret here. If you've told this person something, this person's opening their mouth to other people. Like, they're causing drama. They actually want to see you... It's like, it's not that they necessarily want to see you hurt, but they want to win against you, right? This person's completely competitive. Um, again, they feel like that... I'm hearing a silver spoon... And I know there's some saying about a silver spoon. Um, what is that saying? I think it's like born with a silver spoon, um, like in their mouth, okay? Like meaning, okay, I'm not really too good at this stuff, but let me know if that resonates for you. 
I'm getting that this person feels like that you're really privileged, basically, compared to them. And even if you're siblings, right, they feel like that you get more, that you get more attention, that people, you get more opportunity. There's something about love interest as well. Like, you get a lot of people wanting your attention when they don't get that type of energy in their life. And they're really, like, mad about it. So I'm getting that you're working really hard, right, to accomplish whatever you have going in your life. So there are, you're definitely doing well in life compared to this person. And I'm getting that you're not even comparing um, because you need this person. Like you have love for this person, right? And you may not even realize that this person feels this way. But it's just something within them. I'm hearing fire sign. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Okay. So this person basically just sees you, um, you know, showing up and people paying attention to you. They don't see the work that you've been doing. And I'm getting that this work has a lot to do with, um, like, spiritual work. Like, you've been healing. You've been – some of you may be on, like, a twin flame journey or just some type of soul journey, just spiritually awakening. And it's like you're working on yourself behind the scenes. This person just needs you pop out and look amazing and do really well. And they don't really understand the struggles that you've been through. You know what I mean? They just feel like you're really privileged. <coughs> so this, it, this person feels like everybody wants you. Like... There's everybody wanting your attention. There's love often coming to you. They don't feel like they get that, okay? They feel like that no matter what they do, that you're always going to win. You're always going to be the person that gets the most attention. You're always going to be the person that gets the most love often or something. Um, this person, I'm getting, for some of, you, some of you, there's this weird dynamic here where they may have wanted somebody, but that person wants you. And this is a big problem for them. Okay, so it's like, I am getting that you may not be interested in this, like, person either. Like, I'm seeing that you, your energy is away from this person. You're not really interested. But I do see that there's a masculine here that this jealous person wants, okay, but they're jealous because this person wants you. And it's like, they feel like that it's always that way. Like, no matter who they bring into the picture, that person would prefer you, um, for whatever reason, right? I'm hearing pretty privilege, right? They feel like, yeah, that you're really pretty. Yeah, so they feel like you're really pretty or you're just really good looking. People just pay attention to you. It's like this person could be walking in the shop with you and people will approach you or something and they won't approach them. Like they will literally ignore them. Um, this person strives for attention as well. Oh my god. Wow. They. Wow. <laughs> They feel like they get, like, nothing, okay? They get, I'm hearing the short end of the dick, okay? I'm getting this definitely could be a sibling thing because, or, like, maybe really close friends. But look at how they're looking at you. Like, look at your life. Like, you got opportunity coming in. You've got love coming in, okay? you got money, all right? You've got attention. And this is how they feel. They literally feel like this. They feel like they got no opportunities, okay? They don't get recognized, nothing moves for them, okay? And it's like behind your back, they're trying to cause conflict with people, okay? It could be a love interest too. I do see that there's two people that, like, two masculine here that want to be with you, right? That actively want to be with you. One of them could be a twin flame, by the way, okay? One of them could be a twin flame because I'm getting. Um, and one of them could be Earth sign. Doesn't have to be. You also could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Leo. 
this person could be trying to talk to people around you and basically throw dirt on your name I'm hearing like literally talk shit about you um, because they can't stand people seeing your worth right and it's like you don't even have to do anything it's something about you it's something about you just stand out um, you have some a very strong energy to you a very strong aura And you're in this energy of, like, happiness, okay? It's like you're really content. I'm getting that you could be some type of, like, teacher, okay? Or, like, I don't know, I'm getting, like, a public figure or something. Teacher. You may teach something, okay? Or maybe you taught this person something. There's something really authentic about you. That's why people love you. Like, you are seriously authentic, okay? Seriously authentic. This person, not so much, though. This person, it's like, they're not really authentic at all. They actually talk a whole lot of shit. They literally would start conflict. They would talk shit to start conflict. They would talk shit to try to get peak. Sorry, I thought my video ended up. Like, I heard that noise with the video and anyway, it didn't. So, um... Yeah, so this person will talk shit to try to get people to not see your worth. But the thing is, you're so authentic, you're so yourself, that people just, that there is nobody has, you don't even have to justify yourself. Like, your attitude, your energy, it speaks for itself, right? With this person, they're like, oh, I'm this, I'm that, you know, um, but they don't really show anything, right? They cause a lot of conflict, they're so jealous. This person's so jealous of you. It's like, this person's definitely like, oh, why did this person get all the opportunities? Why did this person get all the attention? Why, why, why this person? Why this person? Why this person? And why not me? Um, instead of working on themselves. Because I see that you're doing a lot of work behind the scenes. This person doesn't see it. You just pop out. And they just feel like, oh, look at this person, you know, so lucky, so privileged, you know, everything goes this person's way. And then they're in this negative mindset where it's like, why me, why me, why me? But yet they're not doing anything to work towards it, if that makes sense. I'm hearing complaining, like this person complains, like they do a lot of complaining, okay, about, oh, my life, but they don't do nothing to fix it, right? They don't even work it's just like they're complaining about things they're not working towards. And for some reason, they look at you and they feel like, oh, well, this person's just lucky. This person, um, you know, they just feel like you are blessed, okay? Like, you don't need to do anything for life to go your way. Like, your life is so easy sailing and maybe that's how you come off. But they're not seeing the work that's being done. They're not seeing the what you've had to do. Like, you've gone through so much in your in your life I can see so much conflict that has got you to this level where it's like you don't care what anybody else thinks you don't try to copy anybody else um in fact you are happy with yourself you're happy with your life I'm hearing soul mission you definitely know what your soul purpose is like and then this authenticity is that a word um but yeah there's this authentic um vibe about you where nobody can take that away from you this person just fake Okay, they're fake because it's like they like to, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Um, but then they look at you and they're like, why, why, why? They don't work. They don't do nothing to, like, they're literally just in this negative mindset waiting for shit to fall in their lap, right, while you're doing the work, okay? And even though you may be doing this behind the scenes, this person's super jealous of it because they feel like they're not getting the opportunity that you get. They don't get the attention that you get. Okay, I'm getting this definitely could have to do with work because maybe you work with this person, but I am getting that, or maybe it's just that you work on yourself and this person doesn't and they're just looking at it um, like where they feel like that you're so lucky, you're so privileged, that's just how your life goes um, and, you know, they're just in this negative mindset. You know, why, why me, why me, why me, um, why am I not getting no opportunity, um, 
yeah, they're not really trying, right? They're not really doing as much as you are, okay? Whatever, with whatever they're worried about, with whatever they seem to, you know, if this is a job, if this is just, you know, the personality, this person wants to see you fail. They want to see you stress because they feel like everything goes right for you. They just, they feel like it's not fair. I, I'm serious. This person could be talking to people behind your back they are fake as fuck, okay? For one, they are fake as fuck. Um, they're not one to be trusted, okay? Definitely narcissistic. Um, look, I, I feel like I'm saying this in a lot of readings lately, but when the knight, um, sorry, the knight, the king of swords comes up, and I've got the knight of swords here too, um, and reverse this one, this is nar narcissistic vibes for me. That's what I mean. I'm not saying they're a narcissist, but I do feel that they're very selfish. Um, you know, it's like they're never happy for anyone else. Um, they're in this negative mindset. They always want to be the person on top, right? But they're not really doing anything to get there. You could be dealing with a Leo here. Look, this person, they can see that you're really happy. They can see that you have it all. I'm getting that you're really content, really happy where you're at, especially with your money, okay? I'm getting that, you know, people love to be around you. Look, this person wants to fuck that shit up for you. They want to see you sad. They want to see you left out in the cold, upset, stressed out. Um, again, very sneaky vibe about this. Like, they literally could be... It's like they secretly want you to fail. Or they secretly want you to be upset here. My goodness. I don't know. Oh, this is a friend. I'm telling you, this is a friend. This definitely could be a friend or a sister, brother, sibling, okay? This friend is extremely jealous. I'm, I'm just feeling envy right now. Like, they are so jealous of you. Um, oh, what does that mean? I'm hearing wolves in sheep clothing. I don't know what that means. I'm going to Google that after this. Let me know if you know what that means or if it resonates for you. Um, wolf in sheep clothing. I've got to Google that later. Um, okay. So, this person, um, it's like they've got the cover on. So fake. Okay. They're around you, but they don't want to see you win. Right? They're one of these people that don't want to see you win. They're jealous about it. And the thing is, is they secretly want to see you fail, upset, nothing can touch you, nothing can touch you, right, so, I don't know if you watched my video, um, about the black magic, I feel like this could be, like, um, the same person that may be doing that black magic, but that black magic's not coming up right now, but, um, for some of you, that could be the same person, they want to see you fail, it's a secret, though, right, and it's a friend, somebody that you're allowing in your energy, this person's not healed. Mm. I don't like the energy of this person. It's like you're like, I'm getting like this like angel vibe about you, and I'm getting like, you know, like when you see the movies or whatever, and you've got like an angel on one shoulder and the devil on the other shoulder, but like I'm seeing it here, and it's like the angels on your side, the devil's on their side, right? Yeah, this person's trying to hide their jealousy. They're trying to hide the fact that they can't stand you winning. So they're trying to... They're doing shit behind your back. They could be speaking to people, like, around you. There's something about this person. They act like they're really innocent, but they're actually really evil. Right? Like, they got this, like, innocent... Um, mark that they love to put out to the world. It's like they're the victim. They like to come off with a victim mindset. Right, it's like they caused all the trouble. They caused all the trouble, but they, they do it in secret, right? They caused all the trouble and they do it in secret. So then they come out as the victim later. They can try to manipulate people into thinking that they're the victim because everybody sees this person. And oh no, they would never do anything. But no, this person, it's like they're a snake in disguise. There's something about you, by the way. There's something about you. Like, I love your energy. 
I don't even know who I'm talking to, but I love your energy. You've got this, like, cute, like, carefree, like, playful energy that, like, I don't know how old you are, but it feels like you're, like, it's like this childlike spirit where you just, I love your energy, whoever I'm speaking to today. <laughs> um, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Leo or an Aquarius. So this person's doing this in secret. They're trying to do something here in secret. I'm, I'm thinking they're trying to look. Don't, okay. Don't bring this person around your love interest. Okay, don't do that. Don't trust this person around your love interest because they do want to do something sneaky here to ruin your life and see you hurt. Um, I also see that this person um. This person may not walk away from you because it's like you got some type of benefit. Being around you, there's some type of benefit. You may be really fun. Oh, I'm getting that this person actually may have nobody. Like they literally may have ruined all their friends, like their, their connection. They may have ruined all their connections and all they have is you. Um, and all they have is you basically. And they feel like, that, well, if they cut you off, then they're going to have no one. And I'm getting their friends are your friends. Right? Like, this person's like, what's that word? And guys, I'm also getting this other message, um, that if you are in a relationship, this person may be trying to ruin this relationship. Oh, they, there's a relationship, okay. This person's trying to ruin something here, okay? You're happy with something. Now, this could be a relationship. This also could be, like, you know, your career. This also could be, like, a friendship. This person's trying to ruin it, okay? Trying to ruin it, trying to end it, but it's not working for them. Um, this person just cannot leave you alone. Oh, it's so funny. It's so funny, guys. Oh, it, the way that I'm seeing this, okay. The way that I'm seeing this, um, I'm getting, okay, this person really comes off as somebody that's so sweet and loving and they wouldn't hurt a fly and you come off as somebody that you're also very sweet and loving but you also have this bluntness about you, you also say it how it is, you have this vibe to you where like you don't allow a lot of people in your energy right um like you're very picky and choosy with the people around you right and this person the way that they come off jeez this person is like calculated because it's like they live their everyday life acting like they're literally a saint, but it's, an, it's, all, it's all an act, right? This person's very malicious, right? They act like this, but they're actually really malicious, okay? They talk a lot of shit and they try to hide it with, I don't know, some inspirational quotes or some shit, I don't know. And then there's you that's very authentic here, very authentic. Um, and there is this sense of, I'm getting this person may want to fight you. I don't know why I'm getting that they want to fight you. Because, like, the way I'm looking at it, on the, it's like you guys are just staring at each other. Like, just staring at each other. But this person, like, they want to fight, fight with you. It's like they start all the drama. They want to fight now or something. But then they look at you and they're scared to fight. This person is... This is so weird. This person's like trying to pretend that they you to other people around them. They're literally trying to take your personality and act like that's them, right? And then they're trying to tell people that you're the one that's taking their personality. So I'm getting, yeah. So what you show the world, your personality, how you show the world is, I just think 444 by the way, um, it's like a lot more authentic, okay, you show yourself. 
this person shows like, oh, I'm so sweet, I'm so kind, I'm so nice, love, light, I don't know, you know, one of those people that just, you know, seem like they've never done anything wrong in their life, that's how they show the world, but really they got all these like evil intentions behind this loving space that they've had, this loving mark that is literally just a mark, because, because behind all that is a lot of narcissism, it's a lot of jealousy, a lot of competitiveness, competitiveness, I don't know, they want to compete with you, um, <laughs> this person, um, very unauthentic, I'm getting you cut this person out already, I'm getting that you have pulled your energy away, like they cannot, they cannot, um, they can't touch you. Yeah, this person coming out trying to act like they're the victim and you're the bad person, okay? Um, and because of their, and I'm getting that they're even acting even more like, you know, they would never hurt a fly, you know, like very manipulative and I'm hearing vindictive, but um, very manipulative, okay? It's like they are trying to even like, for example, if they have social media, they're like putting all these inspirational quotes, like, saying how sweet they are and how, how, how you know you know what i'm saying right um and then they're like trying to also throw dirt on your name basically if that makes sense right in their own mind it's like there's this attention that you get they want to take from you so they're trying to take your personality of it i don't know the person is like twisted I am getting, I keep getting drawn back to like siblings, this could be a sibling, let me know if it's a sibling for you. <laughs> like this person studies you, they study you, they watch you very closely but it's like you're you've checked out now, right? You've checked out. You, you don't pay attention to this person that much. It's like every time you speak to this person, it's always something wrong. There's always another problem. There's always like them complaining. There's always them like, but they're not them actually working towards their goals. If that makes sense. I'm hearing Jenny. I'm, I'm, I'm like hearing somebody call the name Jenny, like Jenny, like, I don't know what that's about. Let me know if that resonates for you. <coughs> this person's just, okay, for some of you, okay, I mean, with these cards coming up, um, some of you are very popular, okay, either popular in your friend group or like just popular at school or whatever you do. Um, for some of you, you are, though, in the, like, um, what do you call it? Like, you know, you're an influencer or something. Like, you're on YouTube or you're on um, Instagram, something like that. I'm hearing TikTok, okay? You may be a TikToker or something. And it's going really well. You're getting a lot of attention. I'm hearing high five. I don't know what that's about. Let me know if that resonates. High five. <laughs> um... But some of you are in the public eye or you're getting recognition for something, okay? And it's well deserved, right? And this person cannot stand it. They're so jealous that you're getting all this recognition and they feel like that, in their own mind, they feel like that they should be getting this recognition. They feel like that they're the ones that, they literally feel like that they're way more healed, they're way more angelic, they're way more like everything than you. But the fact is, you're the Empress and the Queen of Cups, right? Um, and they're in this energy of, I mean, the Tower and the Nine of Swords. They're just, oh, they're not in a great place, okay? And the thing is, is they're putting themselves in this, okay? Because they keep trying to compete, okay? They cannot be happy for anybody. They're not happy for you. Um, it's like you're doing really well and that's directing them the fuck out. They don't know what to do about it. It's like they, they want to end this somehow, right? They want this to end. They can't stand the tension that you get. 
They feel like they should get the attention. <laughs> oh my god, who are you dealing with? Did Perfect feel like... It's like they're jealous because they feel like that they should get the attention that you get. Because in their mind they feel like that they're a better person or something. I don't know. Or that's how they try to like show the world, something like that. This person is extremely jealous of you. They can't stand it. They can't stand your life. They're also extremely fake, okay? Liar. Like, just, they don't come off as an authentic person whatsoever, right? That's why they don't get all this attention that you do because you're really authentic. <coughs> they got this, like, follower. Like, they're like a follower, you know what I mean? Like, they're like one of those people that, like, follow the trend, you know what I mean? They're not them, their authentic self. They're just, like, if there's a trend, they're going to hop on it, right? You could be dealing with an Aries here. Could be dealing with Scorpio or a Pisces. Oh, they fake. They are fake. They act literally like the opposite, okay, to how they really are. This definitely could be a family member too. Like, this could be a family member. As I said, a sibling, a child, okay, a mother. Like that type of dynamic. Or a friend, okay? With the uh, three of cups coming up, a, a friend, right? They secretly want you to fail, right? And again, to your face, this person, it's like they don't want to like... I'm getting that you don't really... Either you cut this person off already. Mm. Okay, I feel like, yeah, what I said before about the... Um, how this could be like ongoing from that black magic one that I did. Yeah, this definitely could be. This person tried to do some type of like spell work to keep you stuck, cause conflict in your life secretly. <coughs> yeah, they tried to cause some type of confusion. They're confused now. They're confused now. Literally, this is like um the same person I feel. They're confused now, okay, because it didn't work. Like, because they're watching you and everything's still moving for you. Like, you're still getting shit done. Nothing has affected you, right? They tried to do something behind your back to hurt you and nothing's affected you. And now they're really confused and oof. Nothing's moving for them, okay? They're in a really bad, toxic place right now because, again, it bounced back to them. Alright, to end this message, is there anything else? I'm getting that this person's going to send you a message trying to like throw you off, okay? Like I'm getting that they're acting like really loving toward you right now. Or they're gonna come back and try to like rekindle the friendship or relationship, right? Yeah, this person's coming back to try to fix things. Because they feel like they, they did some type of sneaky black magic here or some type of sneaky shit, alright? Maybe a spell or something. Something sneaky to try to stop you now it's not working and their life is like... I'm hearing burning, burning, okay? Like, literally going up in flames, okay? Their life is literally going up in flames. So they feel like if they come back and like fix things with you, that that will go away, right? So expect this person to try to come back and suck up your ass because they feel like that you're the one. Yeah, they're coming back. They want, they, they need to come back into your life. They're going to be fake as fuck, okay? But they feel like that you've put a spell on them or something, that you've done what they've done to you. Yeah, they feel like that you've put a spell on them. Or maybe they feel like that then something because they're like conf like fighting with you, like having a conflict with you, that their life is going really shitty, so they feel like they need to come and fix it, so their life stops going downhill, right? This person's going to want to come and work with you again, okay? Yeah, they, they're going to want to 
reconcile here with you. I, I'm not getting that... Yeah, I'm, I'm getting that you've pulled your energy away. Like, you've already seen this person's true colours. You are not about to um, take this person back because... This person's too jealous or something. I'm hearing Amelia. Alright. Um, so that's all I have for you guys. I really hope this resonated. If it did, please let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.